ice cream man ice cream man sundays are for ice cream man It's softball. Happy Sunday, everybody. I wanted to hop on here because I had like a few minutes and I thought I would spend them to give you a little update. And I was just kind of sitting there thinking and I had a couple of two thoughts. One was just an in general thought about this whole gray hair transformation since I'm, you know, going on two and a half years into this. And I would say that probably the, the biggest one so far that I'm feeling today and the most surprising and kind of not so surprising is that no one cares. No one really cares. Most people could care less. I mean, they are, they kind of do a, a quick look and then they're past that and they move on and you're the same person. If there's anybody that has a negative reaction or a pullback, which don't get me wrong, there are definitely, um, there are definitely people that almost, it's almost like they're offended that, that you've done that, you know, that you've decided to go gray, which is the, the most hilarious thing ever. It has, it has nothing to do with them whatsoever. And their reaction has nothing to do with you. So just keep that in mind. But I find that it's funny because for so long, I mean, years, I mean, years, 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 years and years, I was so scared of roots. I mean, so scared, strategically planning, when I was going to be doing my, you know, uh, um, dying, which day to coordinate so that I could get the most out of it. And there was just so much mental energy that is surrounding that, that now that I don't do it and I don't even know what I was worried about. I don't even know what I was scared about. I don't even like, it's just hilarious because no one really cares. And like I said, the people that do don't probably matter anyway. They're, those aren't probably the people that are going to be in your inner circle. And if they are in your inner, yeah, and if they are in your inner circle, you um, that might be your sign that you need to do some auditing. So, first one is no one really cares. The second thing, which I had mentioned in a in a thing, I love like I love that my dark hair. Like my actual natural dark hair is back. I mean, now granted it is mixed. It's mixed with salt and pepper, but this dark, not black, dark brown is now back and I can see it instead of this, you know, once you start coloring it, you never really get a color that's exactly your color. There, It's always a little bit off and then it kind of fades and it's flat and then it looks a little different. So you just never really get your natural color. So to have my natural color back, even if it is salt and pepper, is awesome. I mean, look at that. I freaking love it. It is the perfect dark brown that I always want that I can never get because it always turned into like this mousy, it would either be too dark or too mousy or too anything. So I just love that like I actually do get some of my natural dark hair back in a real way that's mixed and you know, I was telling somebody else in the comments too, that I feel like my hair, it might be gray, but it's alive. It is alive. There is something about putting that dye on your hair that kills it. It kills the aura that's in your, in those strands. It's like the life force. And I know maybe that sounds woo woo or whatever, but it's true that like, I feel like even with my gray hair, it's more alive and more, um, it's just healthier and just everything, even though it is gray, who cares? So anyway, I just wanted to pop on here and share a few things about that because I think a lot of people do get really wrapped up in like, you know, the color and, you know, looking older and they don't really realize that sometimes that you can actually, it's, it's when you are released from a prison and I know that sounds extremely dramatic, but if you, <laughs> but, but there are some of you that are watching this that understand exactly what I'm talking about. But, and when you are released from that prison and you are, you know, you finally accept the unacceptable, which is that you are actually aging, that you are actually going gray and you just let it go the relief that you get makes you 10 year makes you feel 10 years younger because you quit fighting you you have surrendered accepted and moved on and so you really actually can oh my gosh you just clear up so much space that it does you know it does actually make you younger it makes you feel younger it definitely puts a pep in your step but you know 
I don't know. You always talk. It's always like the, the old lady, right? That lives to like a hundred and six or 108 or something like that. And then I always find it funny because I'm always fascinated because I have a goal of 104. That's what I would like to live to be 104. If I get to 105, I bonus. But I always find it funny when you read those articles about women that do live that long and they, they're always like, what's your secret? You know, how did you live that long? And they're always like, I never got married or I stay away from people or, you know, I had uh, a drink and a cigarette every day or it's always like some kind of crazy uh, anecdotal thing that is like totally not what you're expecting. So you just never know. Your path is your path. Okay. So don't forget that. And so I'm going to let you go. And as for always from my reality to your reality, thank you for being, thank you for being with me. And I hope you have a fabulous rest of your Sunday.